Hello there everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree, it is a hot one today. Um, and I have empties for you today. These are all the products I finished up in June. I feel a hair tickling my face. Um, I decided to separate these things into good, bad, and like in the middle, just to kind of mix it up a little. Usually I just pick things out of the box and talk about it, but I thought I'd have a little organization today. So let's talk about the things that I thought were just in the middle, they were good. Wouldn't go out of my way to buy them though. Uh, first thing is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Wash. I like the body wash. I love this really sharp, tart, tangy lime scent that they do. But I hate a pump body wash like this. Especially when the pump is so short and you have to pump it like a bajillion times to get enough out. This is me pumping it, I guess. Um, I pump it like a million times to get the body wash out of it. And I really just don't like doing that. It was just so annoying to me. Um, body wash nice, scent is great, wouldn't go out of my way to buy this again though. There's always another body wash like I was just saying. Um, I used up the Versed, Versed Stroke of Brilliance Brightening Serum. This was a little mini of the Vitamin C Serum. You know, I liked this. Did it do anything for me? Not particularly. Uh, kind of sticky. Wouldn't go out of my way to buy this. There's always another Vitamin C to try and this one was just not one that I care to buy again. But it was fine, didn't irritate my skin or anything like that. I have two little um, minis from Kristen S. This is a hair care brand that I find at Target. I find a Target that is sold at Target. So this is called The One, the, sh the shampoo and conditioner, the signature shampoo and conditioner. It says it has a zip up technology. It's for all hair types and it is uh, lightly clarifying. The shampoo is anyway. So these worked really nice. I loved the way my hair felt after using these, but I, don't like the smell. There's a freaking hair tickling me. I can feel it. I don't like the smell of these. It smells like chemicals and a, like a salon. And I just, I just don't like the smell of this. It lingers in my hair all day. I can smell it the next day. And I usually love when a shampoo and the, the scent lingers and makes your hair feel like it's fresh and smell fresh for a couple days. But this smell, I just do not like it. I gotta see what's tickling my face. Hold on. Yep, it was like a little piece of lint that was just laying flat on my face. You know when you got full face of makeup on, you don't want to tickle anything. You just kind of like touch it gently. Um, anyway, moving on. This is from Your Good Skin. This is the Brightening Exfoliating Wash. Um, I generally really like this brand. Actually, I have something here I'll mention in the best category. And this was just fine for me. I had this for a really long time. It's a daily exfoliating wash and usually when you have a daily exfoliating wash it's so gentle that it pretty much nope it's still there I could feel it like I got it oh it was a cat hair okay usually they're way too gentle to exfoliate at all which is what the case was was this doesn't exfoliate my skin whatsoever is way too gentle when I have a physical exfoliator I like it to be just that just the exfoliator just to exfoliate. I don't want it to wash my face. I don't want it to foam up or be so gentle that I can use it every day. And this was just something that was too gentle for me. Wouldn't buy again. Um, I have the Ulta Beauty uh, Makeup Remover Wipes. A little travel pack here I got as a gift of purchase. These were good, but I wouldn't buy them again. I have here the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream from Fresh. I really like the smell of the rose stuff. To me, it kind of smells like black tea. I actually always thought it was tea until I actually read the packaging and saw that it's rose. Really, um, I don't know. This was fine. It says it's deep hydration, but I didn't find this hydrating at all. I thought this was a really light moisturizer. It was fine. Would never buy it a full size though. This is something I always want to get in a bigger size, but I can't bring myself to do it. It's from Sunday Riley and it's the A plus high dose retinoid serum. Um, this doesn't irritate my skin at all. I feel like I would really, really like this with long-term use, but the sample size is never like enough to see results with, but it is enough for you to kind of get your skin. What am I trying to say? Like you could see if it's going to irritate your skin. You could see if it has fragrance. You see if your skin's going to be sensitive to it, that kind of stuff. Um, I always want to buy this in a full size, but I can't bring myself to do it. But you know, it is what it is. This is from Curology. This is actually the smooth sailing moisturizer but actually what was inside was actually face wash and not a moisturizer even though it's labeled moisturizer it was a face wash i got this in a, in a lore beauty box and they sent out an email saying curology uh, like packaged them wrong please don't put this on your face we think it's a, a face wash uh so it was a face wash for me it was really nice i enjoyed it um i think curology is like a made for you and your skin type skincare system if i'm not mistaken 
so I want to look into this because if you got this in your allure box, I think they gave you like a free little mini set of the skincare. So I think I'm going to look into that just to try it out. But that one was fine. Um, I have this little travel bag here from Simple. It's the Hydrating Light Moisturizer. My boyfriend brought this for me from somewhere, from work, I think, from one of his, when he used to work at CVS. Um, and this was fine. I used this on my hands. I kept this in my bag in the car and I used it up. It was nice. I actually like this kind of travel bag because you're able to squeeze out every little bit of moisturizer. I never used this on my face, so I can't tell you how it worked like that, but it was really light and, you know, got the job done. And then I have here a mini from Glam Glow, the Youth Bud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. I really, really like this mask a lot. It works. It's awesome. I love the scent of it. I love how exfoliating it is. I would love to have this in a full size if it was in a squeezy tube. Unfortunately, with Glam Glow, they do sell in squeezy tubes, but it's only in like their biggest jumbo size, which I wouldn't want to have of this. Um, but I really like this, but I wouldn't buy it in a full size. And then another thing that was just in the middle was the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. There's like tickles all over my face today. I don't know what it is. Um, this is a clear sunscreen, which I think is really cool. It feels like dimethicone. It feels like this, the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, like that super dimethicone or makes you feel really soft. And as much as I like the clearness of this, I can never really tell how much I'm using because I could put on like the tiniest little dot and start rubbing it with my hand. My hand is now covered with the super soft dimethicone feeling. So I feel like I'm rubbing it all over, but I'm really not. It just feels like I am. So I don't like that I can't tell how much I'm using of this. Um, I like it. I use all the samples I get a Super Goop. I think it's a great brand, but this one is just weird to me. I don't know. I've liked it, but I, I don't love it. Hold on. Okay, I got all the tickles on my face out of the way because I feel like I was just constantly touching my face. Okay, let's talk about the fails. The first one, which is actually really sad for me that this is a fail, this is the number seven dark spot correcting boosting serum. So this is what it looks like. I love number seven. I love a lot of their products and this is something I was really hoping to love. This is the second tube that I finished of this back to back. I wore it every morning and every single night, every day, two tubes every day till I finished them up. This didn't do anything whatsoever. So I have this big spot. I know you can kind of see it. You can definitely see it when I have no makeup on. It kind of camouflages a little with makeup, but I always assumed it's sun damage. I really don't know what it is, but I've always wanted to lighten it up or just make it disappear. Um, I liked this in a sample so much. The sample was amazing. It worked in just a few uses. I was like, holy crap, this is what I've been looking for. Bought the full size. It was fine. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy another tube. Maybe I just need to use it longer. It didn't do anything at all whatsoever. Not one bit of anything. Waste of money. Didn't work for me. Really sad to see that this didn't work because number seven is usually really good. Um, this is the ColourPop Brow Boss Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Black. I've used many of these um, over time and it's a good pencil. I'm over it. I'm so sick of this pencil though. This is an eyebrow pencil if I didn't say so. Uh, one of those little skinny pencils has a spoolie. It works but I'm really sick of it. I really want to move on and I'm so glad I'm done with this. I'm just over it. Um, don't go get it. I dropped it right on the floor and the dog's head was like, what? You dropped a toy for me? Uh, next thing I didn't really care for were the Shank Pre Gold Black Pearl Eye Mask. This was like an under eye gel. I got this in an Allure Beauty Box. These didn't do anything. They didn't depuff. They didn't brighten. They didn't moisturize. Didn't do anything whatsoever. And these are very expensive for what they are in the full size. I don't care about those. And then the last thing is the Olay Charcoal Detoxifying Body Mask. I did do a standalone video on this. This was so dumb. This was a waste of $11. It only came with this much mask. Even though they give you this big old container, you think it's gonna fill up like all the way and it's gonna be a full body experience. You only get this much. It's not enough to even like cover one whole arm. Um, it's waste of money. I would not recommend this for anybody at all, no. Okay, now the best things of the month. Come over here, guys. Okay, first thing is a little Real Technique sponge. Love these sponges a lot. This one looks like it still has some life in it. Why am I getting rid of it? It has a lot of holes in it, though. It's definitely worse for wear. Buy this all the time. Uh, I love it. Um, a holy grail is the Your Good Skin SPF 30 Antioxidant Day Cream. 
This is my daily moisturizer. I use this daily, literally. I've been using this since the brand came into existence. I have a video that I did a long time ago talking about pretty much everything in their line. Um, I use the brand for a full month or two every day and I, I love a lot of the products. This was one that I buy all the time. I love it so much, my absolute favorite. It doesn't smell like sunscreen, it's amazing. Use it every day, absolutely will buy again. Uh, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This was the Scent Earth. I loved this. I love the primer water in general. I'm actually using another... Hey, 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 George. Leave the cat alone. The cat's trying to sleep and he's like, hey, oh, wait, hold on. <sighs> okay. Um, anyway, this is the Scent Earth. I'm currently using the one called Water. Does have a really like... Wait a minute. Did I get the wrong one? No, this one has, no, no, this is the sea salt and lemon one. Um, these are like a little Christmas set. I finished up this one. I love this stuff a lot. I buy it all the time. Uh, love it. Would use it forever. The Tarte Surfer Curl Mascara. I love this with all my heart. I actually have a little mini now. I got in a little Sephora Favorites bag. Super happy to have it back in my life. It curls, it volumizes, it lengthens, it thickens. It does everything I want a mascara to do. It's amazing. It does flake on me and I overlook it because everything else is spectacular about this mascara. Underrated gem right here. I love it. Um, the Coco Cabana Cream from Sol de Janeiro. I used this up yesterday. Ugh. You know, I was really mad when they redid the scent of this because I was like, what are they doing? Don't mess with perfection. It's amazing. But it smells really, really good still. And uh, it does smell different though. If you were a devotee of the original, you'll notice it's not the same, like there's something missing, but it's still amazing. I still love it. I still buy it. Uh, don't buy it all the time. This is just definitely a luxurious product for how much, this is 20 bucks, okay? For this little container, it is 2.5 ounces, if that means anything to you. But for body lotion, I think that's really, really expensive. Why'd I show you that part? I guess it's to show you how much you get for 20 bucks. It's amazing. I justify it. Uh, I love it forever. Also used up the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Moisturizing Body Cream Cleanser. Oh my God, I wanna buy this in a full size so bad. I have another one of these little minis and it's amazing. It's so thick and rich and creamy. The scent is intoxicating. Oh my God, it's amazing. And I love that it's in a squeeze bottle because you can squeeze out every little drip of your body wash, put some water in there, shake it up, get every single ounce of your little expensive body wash out. Oh my God, this is amazing. I will definitely buy another one. I love it. I used up these makeup wipes. These were amazing. These are from this brand called Smartly. They sell this at Target. I think they have three products. These were 99 cents. I think it's a Target brand. These were one, I, these are if, what am I trying to say? These are amazing. Best cleansing wipes I've ever used. Removed my makeup, didn't irritate my skin, didn't leave a residue. They were wonderful. I would absolutely buy these again. I'm not in the market for makeup wipes. I don't make it a habit to take makeup off with them. But every once in a while, I just wanna use a makeup wipe and these were great for 99 cents. Amazing. This was a mask from, I think the brand is called Wen. And I didn't realize, I wish I had noticed that this is actually a mask they meant to use before makeup. Like it's a makeup prep step and it's called Glamour Base Biocellulose Sheet Mask. 30 minute mask, my skin looked amazing. I wish I had noticed that this was before makeup. I use this at night when I was doing my nighttime skincare. Um, I'm trying to see what the claims were on here, but I don't remember what they were. But my skin looked tight, it looked bright, it looked clear, it was crazy. This was an amazing mask. I wish I had used it before makeup, but dang, my skin looked like someone else's skin. It was amazing, loved this, got that in. And Got that in an Allure Beauty box. Um, I one last thing, the green tangerine Vita C toner pads from Goodall. I absolutely loved these. I don't know how many were in here because it doesn't say anywhere. I'm assuming it says somewhere here, but I can't read it. It's not in English, but these were amazing. But to be fair, I love a pre-soaked toner pad. I love them. I love using something like this every day. And I really enjoyed these quite a bit. I would absolutely buy these again. They came with little tiny tweezers, but I never used them. I'll find a use for them somehow. But I love these, absolutely would buy again. I thought they were fantastic. Um, yes. And that is it. No, I gotta talk about these cookies. Oh my God, I have to. 
So these are from Trader Joe's. They're the soft baked snickerdoodles. <gasps> oh my God. So they're vegan and gluten free. And I never find gluten free things. I don't seek out gluten free stuff. I think it's just whatever if you're gluten free. If you're gluten free because you have, you have to be, I'm not, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna say anything, it's whatever. Gluten free to me is not really good anyway. Okay, where am I going with that? These are amazing. They're snickerdoodles. They're so soft that the dog and the cat are playing right under where I'm sitting. <sighs> okay, hold on. Okay, put the dog in the other room so I can talk about my cookies. Um, these are incredible. They taste just like snickerdoodle. They're really, really soft. Like, I don't usually like soft cookies. I like them to be soft, but not too soft. These are so soft. There's no crunch to them whatsoever in any way. They are so good. They're sweet, but not too sweet. They're not overwhelming. You will want to eat the entire box. I think there's only like 12 cookies in here. 12 cookies in this box. And oh my God, I already, I already bought another one. They're so delicious. Soft snickerdoodles. They have like, they're coated like in brown sugar or something. So they got a little bit of like a crunchy gentle. Oh my God, they're so good. Okay. I wanted to talk about those cookies because they're so good. I'm not describing them at all. I'm just like, oh my God, they're so good. Anyway, that is it. Thanks for joining me for my empties video. Let me know some things that you finished up this month. I would love to know. And I'll see you later with another one.